Hey, what's going on guys? Chad here, and today we're gonna to talk about the MSI Clutch. This is their latest offering. It's a $70 ergonomic mouse. And I've gotta tell you guys, when I was unboxing this, first of all, I felt like I was opening up a motherboard, which was kind of funny, but cool at the same time. And then also, as soon as I put this mouse in my hand, I really felt like I was using an ergonomic Viper Mini, which is kind of crazy because I used to main the Viper Mini, and I love that shape and that mouse. I just hate the sensor on it and the cord, obviously. But, you know, this really gives me Viper Mini vibes in a good way. Way, but it's like a tilted over Viper Mini, you know, with ergonomics and whatnot. It's actually a really well made, solidly built mouse. Like, there's no creaking, no flexing. All the buttons feel great on here, except for the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel feels high quality, but it's really fast when you scroll it, and you cannot really feel individual steps on this mouse. It's just like super fast. So, if you're a tack shooter player and you use the scroll wheel to swap between weapons, it might be a little bit of a challenge on this mouse, but this is a $70 mouse and it weighs 72 grams. And that's kind of a lot for this mouse because it's a really small mouse. It's definitely a lot smaller than something like a super light, which only weighs 60 grams. And when you're using this mouse, you can really feel that extra weight, you know, just not being a very big mouse. Like when you're doing flicks and whatnot, you can just feel this mass under you. Whereas like something like the super light, it just kind of disappears in your hand and the weight's really well balanced. So you don't notice it too much. Unfortunately, that's not the case with the MSI mouse. But yeah, the buttons one and two, they're very crispy. No side to side wobble, no pre-travel, no post-travel. They're actually really well done. They're Omron 60s. The side buttons are in a great place. They're very clicky and responsive too. No problems there, like the coating is very good on here. Also, it's got side grips as you can see, and I haven't had any issues with grip on these side grips so far. It's been grippy and it's been fine, so no issues. And no, they're not as good as like something like premium grips, but you know, they're built into the mouse. They're kind of going for this like razor vibe here where you've got like the Viper design with the grips on the side and it also has a charging dock as you can see. So yeah, kind of familiar, but kind of different at the same time. I would definitely say this feels like a wireless ergonomic Viper Mini, which is a good thing. Thing. And honestly, when I'm using this mouse with a fingertip grip, my hand is really locked in and it gives me really good support and control and it feels great for aim. It's just kind of a heavy mouse. And then the other thing that I don't like about this mouse is it has a 3311 sensor. And I think a lot of people are not going to buy this mouse because of that sensor. You know, it can do up to 12,000 DPI and 300 IPS and 35 Gs of max acceleration, which is okay, but it's not very good in 2022. And we're about to roll over into 2023 and things are going to be even better then and the combination of the weight plus the 3311 makes this mouse feel not quite as responsive as something like my super light and it's hard to say entirely if that's just because of a 3311 or if it's because of the weight but if i had to guess i would say it's some combination of both you know when i first started using this mouse i love the shape instantly i fell in love with it it's one of my favorite shapes of all time no joke but it's heavy and the sensor is kind of you know low end it would have been nice if they at least just popped a 3370 in here or something like that right like they're obviously going for extended battery life it does have up to 110 hours of battery life and msi claims that you can get up to seven hours of playtime with 10 minutes of a charge so that's really nice and i haven't charged the mouse once since i've had it for a couple weeks now the battery life has been fantastic it does have rgb as you can see and i've had this running the whole time and the battery life has still been great, but you know, personally, I don't care about RGB anymore, kind of over it. I just care about performance and feel in the hand. So like I said, it feels kind of like a Viper Mini in the front, like an ergonomic version. But then once you get towards the back of the mouse, it's kind of different. It's hard to describe until you feel it really. Obviously this mouse was inspired by Razer. You know, you've got the grips on the side and then on the bottom of the mouse, you've got the gold charging pins that sits into the dock. And yes, it's magnetic, just like the Razer was. The feet here are PTFE, but they don't feel very good to me. They're a little bit scratchy, a little bit rough and cheap feeling. So if you are going to buy this mouse, I would definitely try to get aftermarket feet on this thing ASAP. You'll have a much better experience with like gliding and tracking and whatnot. Overall, I do have good aim on this mouse. It's just, you know, like I said, it's too heavy and the sensor is just kind of low end. So that's a bummer, you know, and it's a $70 mouse. There's a lot of stuff for $80 to $90 that are, you know, high end sensors, lower weight, better performance overall. So it's kind of hard to recommend this mouse when it weighs this much and it has this low end of a sensor. I feel like I'm just kind of bashing it, but you know, it is what it is. And my, my goal here with this channel is to always be honest. And I just can't really recommend this mouse unless you really want an ergonomic Viper Mini that's wireless and you don't mind extra weight. If you don't mind the weight, then this might be worth a shot picking up. But like I said, you want to get new feet on there probably ASAP. So yeah, that's all I really have to say about this mouse. If you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.